Hi family, thanks for watching. So it's the middle of the week, I'm by myself today. Um, and we did look at the hives the other day. They both have activity inside. Obviously it's winter, so we didn't do an actual inspection. But we do need to do our winter uh, oxili fudge. oxilica, oxilica, ah, uh, this stuff, this stuff. Yeah, don't ask me to say that out loud. Oh, I can't. So I'm gonna be treating them and I'm gonna try to record it so you all can see what I am doing. Okay, so the first bit of business I'm gonna do is get the, uh, I'm gonna just call it acid from here on out because that I'm terrible when I'll pronunciate it. But I'm just gonna get in here. It's a new pack that we got offline and I'm going to fill it up I've been told by the instructions, the manufacturer instructions say that I can fill this up to treat a two hives. I'm sorry, um, two box hive. Try not to spill this everywhere. At the same time, put it in the cup. Okay, I've been told not to pack it down, so I'm just gonna brush it off. And this uh, table is slanted, so everything's falling downhill. I'm gonna put that down for a second. And then get our little cap on. Make sure that's on good. All right, that is. Then I'm going to get some wet paper towels. I'm going to do this the really fancy way. Woo! -hoo. You need the special effects to go with it to make it complete. But the idea with the wet paper towels is we're going to block the exits of the hive so that when we're vaporizing them with the acid, the treatment will stay in the hive. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm suited up because I don't know my bees well enough yet. But I've done this once before with somebody else treating their bees. We didn't bother suiting up for that one, so I'm probably being overly cautious right here right now. Uh, all right. Okay, so it already looks like they're a little mad at me for trying to block off their entry try to get them in but I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all all together and cooperating so I'm just gonna close off this entry and then cover up all the holes as best as I can so that the treatment goes into the hive and oh, that is about as good as that is going to get. I probably should just take the faceplate off and wrap the towel around it. That actually makes more sense. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so one thing I have been told about this stuff is to make sure you wear protective eye gear and masks because the acid is uh, can be quite destructive and really wreck your system if you inhale any of it. So I'll go ahead and be doing that. through these glasses so I don't know if I'm doing this right. That's not good. Oops. Okay, I think this should be called a lesson in what not to do. 
um, as you saw, uh, the paper towel method that a friend had told us about really kind of just sounded like it started sizzling, started burning, so I took them away and I um, probably lost some of the treatment that way. It is a multi-part series, so hopefully we'll sort it out at the end. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try the next one. I'll still block, block the back of the uh, next hive, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just put the um, oxalic acid into the hole without any extra blockaging and see how that goes. Okay, so I don't know if I did that terribly wrong, but they're treated. I'll have a friend come back and help us make sure that we're not just spinning our wheels on this one. <laughs> 